Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which comes out this weekend. The projections for it are pretty good as far as the box office is concerned, but the movie itself is not getting very good reviews. Yeah, which is concerning because like our kids really wanted to go and you guys are going tomorrow. We're actually going to go see it tomorrow. Yes. I'm not going because I don't do these kind of movies, but Neon's taking the kids tomorrow to go see it. Yeah, we'll see how it is. I don't know. I have zero expectations for this movie. Uh, I've already seen Willy's Wonderland with Nicolas Cage, and that that scratched my FNAF itch. But uh, yeah, this is actually uh, being called the worst movie of 2023, but it's still going to make money because it's Five Nights at Freddy's, right? That's, it it's kind of sad because it's such a it's such a cultural icon, and then they they found a way to to mess, if, they, if they found a way to mess it up because we haven't seen it, we don't know. But if they found a way to mess it up, then that's sad. It's because they didn't ship them hard enough. Probably. That's that's the problem. There's not enough shipping in this movie. So let's let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo. Woohoo. If you do. Um, yeah. So look, I think the concern started growing with Jack Septicai, popular gaming YouTuber. Jack Septicai said that uh, it wasn't good. He didn't like it. Yeah. And this is a guy who made a lot of money playing games like FNAF. Just saw it. I didn't like it. He's like, it was fine, but it was average. Uh, I really liked the first two games and the lore of everything, but the movie felt a bit rushed in some places and pretty standard in others. Had a, had a couple of cool moments, though. Had a couple of cool moments. I think that the the, uh, the costumes look pretty good, but um, this is coming from uh, Greg, Greg, GG. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was Greg Con. GG Recon. Okay, there you go. GG Recon, right? Uh, they said that uh, there's a lot of hype surrounding it, but they said it's the worst movie of 2023. They said it's officially waking from its mechanical slumber, gnashing its way onto the screen with Josh Hutcherson. Yeah, because he's an A-lister. Uh, he's better than Nicolas Cage, right? And Matt Lillard, who I, I like. But they said it sits at uh, 29 out of 100 on Metacritic. Ooh. Well, you know, the worst movie of the year. We haven't had the Marvels yet, to be fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is true. We haven't had the Marvels yet, but this isn't a good sign. It said it's based on a handful of reviews, but if you head over to Twitter, a growing number of viewers are calling it the worst movie of 2023. Considering the video game series of the same name as a horror icon, it's disappointing that Freddy is rusty. Uh, let's go over and see what Metacritic is saying. We'll go over and see what uh, uh, they're saying over in Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, yeah. 28. That's yeah, not... how many. You don't know. Uh, 10 critic reviews. See, these are just like, there's not that many. There's 37 and 10. So you really can't tell from that yet. Plus, I've also learned the audience scores are more what you go by than the critical scores. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. You guys, I mean, you're going to have to watch it and then tell everybody else what you thought of it after you've actually seen it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, though, but when you have people like Jack Septicai coming out and saying, this movie sucks. Yeah, and we've had some pretty good video game movies. We've had, you know, we got Mario, we had Sonic, and then we're getting this. Uh, so it's not looking too good. The thing is going to make a ton of money, though. Here are, the, um, here are the tomato meter reviews. Grace Randolph. Oh, Grace Randolph liked it. It was a fun treat for a Halloween weekend. Uh, Megan Peters said, no, it's... Uh, FNAF did not meet the high expectations. That, that could be a thing. Could, I think that that's part of it, yeah. I, I think because this movie has been in development for so long and because Five Nights at Freddy's has such a massive fan following, people are like, this had better be the best damn movie ever. Well, I think what's, what's what the problem I, from what I'm looking here says, Grace Randolph says it's PG-13, so it's almost for everyone. And then this person, Dark Sky Lady, said Five Nights at Freddy's is a family-friendly with limited frights or jump scares where instead of fearing these chilling animatronics, audiences cheer for them. And I think they keep saying that. And I think that, I don't know if that means, if, if that's why people aren't like it, because they're expecting it like to be like, a, you know, gore like the game. And it's like, oh, but it's PG-13. It's family friendly. Yeah. And that's that's one thing Willie's Wonderland actually had had some violence in it. Doesn't um, have much to say about the underlying subject matter besides, hey, wouldn't it be weird if those musical pizza robots came to life and had teeth? Had sharp teeth. <laughs> the animatronic bots may remind you of Mangy Muppets, but I don't remember Kermit the Frog ever opening his mechanized maw and chewing up someone's face saw style. See, that doesn't sound like a PG-13 that doesn't for sound everyone PG. movie. There are jump scares, but no real thrills. There are jokes, no genuine laughs. I'm surprised people aren't out there like, oh my God, Scott Cawthon's getting money and he... He supported Republicans. 
Oh my God, um, guys. The type of adorable ga- gateway horror that'll play well to slumber party or rowdy theaters full of obsessed fans, which is what its target audience is. So basically, like, it knows its audience is appealing to its audience. Oh, it's going to make a lot of money uh, for sure. They're actually predicting it's going to be the, the top movie this weekend. Uh, Box Office Pro says they think it's going to be, it's going to, um, top five all time October. Top five debut. October. Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, that would, that means it would, uh, have to beat out, uh, Halloween. Paranormal Activity 3, Quiet Place, 50 million. I don't know. Is it going to, I mean, is it going to do that? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, They're saying 65 to 85 million is what they think it's going to make. Well, I know we already got tickets. Well, I'm not going, but you already got tickets. Um, I, I, I hope it's good though, because I want it to be good. Because I know some people were really excited about this and they waited too long. I think they should have done something like this a couple years ago. Yeah. I think they waited too long for it. But um, it's Blumhouse too. <laughs> and Blumhouse is usually pretty good. So I yeah I, I could totally see like Universal because they work with uh, Blumhouse all the time on Halloween Horror Nights. And I yes. could totally see them doing like a, a FNAF. Didn't they have a FNAF something. thing over over at the um, Hollywood at the Hollywood one? I think they I think did, Universal yeah. is yeah. some kind of FNAF something. So next year we'll probably get a FNAF something at the Hollywood Horror Nights here. But um, yeah, I mean I think it's going to be popular. It's going to do well because it's such a it's such a cultural icon. Kids just absolutely love Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, we've been selling toys for years. Um, I hope it's good because I, I don't want people disappointed. I'm, I'm really hoping it is good, but it doesn't sound like it's it's going to be as good as people are hoping. Yeah. I yeah. mean, when Jack Septicai says that, he didn't say it was terrible. He just said it was it was average. You know, I think people are going to be disappointed because they're expecting more. If that makes sense. That that's true. I, I think that's it. I think because of the size of the franchise, the size of the fan base, that they expected like the best game ever. And you've had so long to work on this. You but know? this, this isn't, this is not, this is not made looking good. One Twitter critic said, I don't know shit about five nights at Freddy's, but that was the worst movie I've seen since street fighter. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm Friday nights at Freddy's is the worst movie I've seen in the longest time. Like it's not even mildly entertaining to snack on or anything. But when you say it's, it's, it's as bad as street fighter, that makes me nervous. Yeah. But street fighter, has its moments. It has its moments where it's it's actually uh, not the many clips, clips are watchable. Raul Julia, anything with Raul Julia in it, Bison is watchable. So about five minutes out of the two hour movie, <laughs> I was just saying, that's, that's a little concerning. You know, uh, mm. I'm not expecting much. Um, I I thoroughly enjoyed the hell out of Willy's Wonderland, which was a, a Freddy's knockoff. That you can buy it on digital. Go go watch that one instead. Nick Cage is amazing. And he doesn't say a damn thing. Like he doesn't talk the whole he time. He doesn't talk at all. Um, but just, it's funny. So for, I don't know. I mean, you guys will have to do a video after you've seen it. Uh, it yeah. probably won't be until... I don't think you'll get to you'll get it till Saturday at probably that point. Probably not, yeah. Because they're not going to get back to late. But um, you'll have to do a video because it would be interesting to talk about what how, how it was. Um, and give your opinion on it. I'm a little concerned, though. I mean... I, I've I've sat through plenty of shitty movies, so I mean, you know, I can I can deal. I doubt it's gonna be shittier than the Marvels, though. I really do. I, I don't know. Wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny if the Marvels actually somehow wound up being the best Marvel movie in Phase Four? I and do five? not. Okay, if it was maybe in Phase Four, but I do not believe it's gonna be the best, the best Marvel, Marvel movie. movie this year. It, it, best Marvel movie released in in a you know in a November in an odd year. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.